Okay, so we went to the Denver crime map. We kind of looked and saw the Montbello, where the crimes were located. What were we missing here, right? Remember, kind of one of our questions that I posed to you was, did legalizing marijuana have any effect in, on the crime rate in Colorado? What pieces of data are we missing from this that we didn't like really analyze to answer that question? Time, right? Yes, dates. We want to see this change over time. What this gives us is it basically shows us the crimes on location, and we can do years, but we don't see the cumulative effect. So that's what we're going to do right now. So if you haven't gone to your Denver crime map, you're going to uh, – VE, do you – can you get to it? Go Denver or oh, – go Denver Gov – one word, and then put crime map, and you should find it. Or Denver crime map. Let me know when, you're, uh, when you get to this page. You can just put Denver crime map. It's like yeah, Denver crime map, too. This is a great website. We are one of the few, I mean, there's not very many states that are doing this. And we were lucky that, that Colorado is actually doing this, is, you know, collecting this data. A lot of people just want to kind of put that data under the rug. Nothing to see here, people. <laughs> Why didn't they do that? It depends, right? If you want people to move in your area and they find out there's a lot of crime there, they're not going to want to move there. So they don't want to report it. It also makes the departments potentially look bad. So, you know, it all just kind of depends. Um, the nice thing with Colorado, I think they just kind of all got together and said, let's do this. And so there was kind of a big push to do that. So, But the other states, you don't really see that. Yeah, a lot of people, you'll, you'll notice that as we get going, information is so important that some people try to hide it. <laughs> but guess what? I can find it and I will take it. All right. You on Denver Crime Out? Okay, so go to, see this download crime data? Go to there. And if you've gone, and I'm sure most people have done this, go to the second one. If you go down to resources, go crime, comma, separated values, hit download. And when you download it, you should see something like this. Is it downloading now? Okay, everybody's got the spreadsheets out. This is basically a spreadsheet. Every row indicates a crime, right? This first column is what kind of crime it is. This second type, this is kind of like the category. This is like the specific offense, right? If you look here, it'll give you, tell you what that is. Public disorder. Criminal mischief is kind of the general term. Public disorder. But these are like numbers that show you that. Again, offense number, number of offenses, keep going. When it was reported, first occurred, reported date. Where it happened, if, the, if that's information is available. And then you actually have these location parameters, X, Y, and Z coordinates, longitude, latitude, actually no Z, just X, Y. And again, this is what they use to, to graph those things on that map that we were looking at, right? Now here you'll notice, let me, let me sort this based on when the crime occurred, reported date, hold on a sec. Because I think that's how yours is, right? If we look over here, column Q, is that Q for everybody else? Neighbor? Yep. You'll notice that all the different Denver neighborhoods are on here. So remember, we just want to look at, we're going to just look at Montbello. How would you just get the Montbello information? Uh, you highlight row Q and then you start 
Mr. A to Z and they go to the Oh my, that was awesome. Good job. <laughs> you get extra credit today. Dang straight, so let's do that. So put your, you, what you want to do is you want to go right underneath the neighborhood because we don't want to sort neighborhood. We want this up here. So put your cursor, I think yours might say Union Station. Is that right? Yeah. Hit your sort, but I want you to go ascending or descending. It doesn't matter. I would say ascending. That's easier. Now do you have Athmar Park on as your top one? Or is everybody still sorting? Yeah, Tinker Toys, guys. Does anybody even know? I have, where is Athmar Park? What the heck neighborhood is that? Maybe that's where all the hipsters live. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, let me know when, you're, when it's done sorting. Yeah, your poor computers are going, oh my gosh. You'll notice this is a huge data set. Remember, this is like 350,000 different data points. What's that? Uh, yeah, you can give me that. Um, so here, remember, this is a huge data set. So what we want to do is we want to cut this down. Is it done sorting yet? OK, good. Here's what we want to do is we want to make our own spreadsheet with just Montbello stuff. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of condense this down a little bit. I'm going to go to up here under File, go New Workbook. Maybe that's under your home. I can't remember. Is it home? Hi. Okay, file. Go file, new workbook. Ooh, look, a nice new spreadsheet we can mess up. Yay for us. <laughs> okay, here's what I want you to do. Go to row Q. And basically scroll down until you see Montbello. Your first Montbello. Which row? Come on, help us out here. Oh, there it is. Which, when does it start? Okay. Oh, Marley, Marston. What? Say that one more time. Two ten five ninety three. Oh. I was just right there. Okay. But it, where it starts, though, isn't it 209, 996? No, we got 210, Oh, really? Huh, mine's a little different for some reason. Okay. <clears throat> That's okay. Here's what I want you to do. Wherever you see the first Montbello, I want you to select that row. Okay. Okay. Now, without hitting anything, don't put your cursor on any of the cells because we want to keep this highlighted. Okay? Trust me on this. So we're going to go all the way down to the end of Montbello. For me, that is, where is that? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Like I said, they don't call this big data for nothing. I have big data and I carry a big stick. Okay, so wherever that last Montbello is, what I do want you to do is put your cursor on that thing. Don't hit anything. Hold your shift down and then select. 
So you're going to select all those rows. You should have. So if I put it on that row and I, I hold down the shift and then I click on it, you'll notice if I go up here, I got all of that. See, it's all selected. Did everybody do that? Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, welcome to my world. <laughs> no, actually, once you get into it, it starts. Do you ever watch, uh, you guys have seen uh, The Matrix, right? You guys have not seen any movies at all. That's horrible. Well, <laughs> it's not that old. <laughs> the Ma Matrix messes people up, the movie. Oh, yeah, that's why. That's why we're talking about, yeah. I don't know, my, my, my cousin, he's like a cop, and his numbers are all messed up. Because he watched The Matrix? Yeah, and he made my brother watch it, and then he, he's like, dude, I stopped watching it, it was messing me up. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that before. But, hey, the, who knows? He wasn't messed up before that, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> In the Matrix, what happens is they're basically, they go into this computer program. You're familiar with the movie, right? Keanu Reeves goes in and they're like in an artificial world, right? But they can always see there, they've got, he's connected. They, they put a, that cord in the back of his head. But then you've got that guy that's looking at like these zeros and ones coming down the screen and he's going, oh, Neil's in trouble, and he's all like, oh, no, there he goes, you know, and he's just watching zeros and ones. Like, after a while, if you start looking at data, it doesn't become numbers anymore. It's like things. So it's not as bad as you would think it is. Okay, were you, let's try that again. Go to the top. Wait a minute, I gotta find... That's why we're doing this. Yeah, what did I say? 209 something. It's got to be close. Ah. Okay, so remember, I put it on the top. I select the entire row where my bellow starts. Everybody saw that, right? Don't click anything, then I go down, I, I hit my this this thing on the side, I go all the way down to where I find the last Montbello. Okay, don't click on the spreadsheet or you won't it'll deselect that row we got it. So see how I'm clicking on the sidebar here? Uh-huh. Oh. Okay, watch this. So here's my last Montbello, right? Yeah. I'm going to put it on the row. I'm not touching anything. I put my cursor right by the row. I hit shift. I, I push the shift down, and then I hit the button. And it selects everything between where I selected first and that point. Science. <laughs> Excel, Microsoft, tricks. All right, so we got it recorded now. Here's what I want you to do is we've selected everything we want. This is all the Montbello data. I'm going to hit Control-C. Okay. Once you've hit Control-C, it might take a while to re – yep, there it goes. Go to that spreadsheet that you just created. Put your cursor in A2. Leave a, one row just free. We got to put the headers in there. Should have done that first, but oh well. So I've got my cursor in A2. If you mess up, remember you can always do redo. Hit Control V. You will notice if you go over here that we've got all this Montbello data. This is the only stuff we selected. And if I wanted to check, I could go all the way down. 
So how many pieces of, how many crimes in Montbello since 2011? Yep, totally. You got 11,005? What'd you, what'd you get, JC? 15? 53? Yeah, we all got, you know what? It's because we downloaded the crime data at a different time. That's what it is. Remember that data set is that it gets updated daily. So that's why. Oh. So there's been crimes in the past two days. <laughs> yeah, there has. Yes, there has. Any way you want to look at it, that's, you know, we got a lot of data to work with, which I think is awesome. You know, I, my, my opinion is you can never have too much data. Usually. Sometimes you can. All right, so go to the top of the spreadsheet, the one that, we, that has all the data on. Go to row one. Okay, everybody got it? Row one, Rod? Select row one, control C. Okay, go back to the one we created. Put your cursor in A1, control V. Yep. If you want, here's what I like to do. Remember how we could use to, here's what, take your, your top one and hit bold. That big B. All right, you got a lot catching up to do. Okay.